Innovation has called on for the establishment of high-quality science centers in the country. He has just delivered a keynote address at the launch of the 2025 National Science Week, and this happens in Pretoria. Colleague Mbalentle Mtetwa is there and joins us now for a live update. So Mbalentle, from the address from the minister, what we're gathering on this front is that it's exciting times for the science and technology sector in the country. Yes, indeed, certainly it is exciting times. And as you have seen from the exhibition that we were, uh, we saw earlier today, there are many innovations that can come out of the science and technology um, education stream. But uh, right now we are focusing on what the minister has said during that keynote address. And during the keynote address, the minister has stressed the importance of science and mathematics subjects and um, learners being encouraged to take on these subjects all the way until matric and he has encouraged teachers to take on the opportunity to encourage more learners to take these subjects and ensure that the future is indeed bright and South Africa is alive um, with opportunities not only in the music industry or in the arts industry but also in the science and technology industry. These were the words that the minister shared shared with the learners who are f filled the hall where the minister gave the keynote address. But before the official launch of the National Science Week, we saw uh, what happened, well, we got information as to what happened before this uh, fateful day. And we understand that there was a debate that was held uh, prior to this event. And I've got two of the winners, or two, for, two school learners from the school that has won um, that debate and the topic that they were initially in intended to study uh, to debate on is the fact that you know uh, they had to speak on science and technology are for everyone and is intellectual uh, artificial intelligence um, helpful in any way these learners here are from Inkangala engineering school of specialization in Mpumalanga they have gone through uh, jumped through a few hoops in order to get here but thank you so much for joining me uh, young ladies um, tell me more about what happened uh, talk to us about the the steps that you had to go through to become the winners that you are today? So it all began with um, a dry run during the school holidays and then we had a comp uh, we had a competition with 18 schools in Pretoria Technical High School and then we had to compete last week Saturday we competed um, we had three rounds you had to go through the first round the second round the third, the third round. So we went through all those rounds. We got, we got to the second round. We got to the third round. And in the third round, we had now six schools going head to head. And then they said they're not going to announce the, the winners on on that day. They're going to announce it this week on the National Science Week. And then we went head to head, right? And then they only said only two schools, they only announced only two schools that are going to the Science Week and going head to head in debate. So the, school, the two schools were our school and the technical high school. So we went head, head to head and then we came here and then the Minister of Science and Technology announced the winners, the winners, which was our school, Ekangala Engineering School of Specialization. Absolutely, this must be a very proud moment for you, for you two. Um, and talk, talk, talk us through the debate that you had to then uh, put together. You know the pros and con, cons of artificial intelligence. Basically, when we look into the pros and cons. Um, the, the advantage was that we had to do actually both motions and that's an advantage so you can see oh um, in the positive side you can see that oh these are the points how AI helps us and then on the negative side you're able to also see how it negatively affects the society so um, in the positive side we also learned how AI is making things faster turning uh, three hours three hours studying into just hours Yes, and in the negative side, we also learned that it 
creates over reliance. We depend too much on AI that even in basic situations we can't even think for ourselves. A critical thinking is being taken away by artificial intelligence. Okay, that's that's quite interesting. Critical thinking skills are very important for the future of um, our country and especially for young people. Um, you you did the closing argument. Uh, talk to us about what you said, or did you do the opening argument? Okay, as the person who gave the opening argument, what were your most important points that you felt needed to be stressed? I feel like the most important points that I have to actually um, say was the one for healthcare and also for um, education. Since we as the it was, since we as the students also are related when it comes to education and also healthcare. Many people are dying. Many people, are, others are even surviving now because of AI. So I had to actually touch on those because they are the most important in um, uh, uh, not education, healthcare. Doctors now are even making um, things uh, simpler. Actually, AI is making their, their, their things simpler. So you see, Hore, I had to um, actually dial on those two because they are the important ones. I, according to me, I think they were the important ones. Okay. And then what about, I think, before we went live, you said something about, you know, there's also uh, something that's missing when doctors rely so, so heavily on... Um, uh, AI and you said it's 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 the human impact and the human engagement was it me okay oh. so basically if doctors actually rely on AI too much what if you go to a clinic and then you get there then um, that you tell a doctor the symptoms you have maybe like a headache and a stomach ache and then you tell tell, tell chat GPT um, this person has this and this and this what if it says I have HIV because of those symptoms so basically if the, that doctor relies on AI they will tell you have HIV and give and give you medication and prescriptions that of, of a person who has HIV then you you are automatically gonna get sick when you actually don't have HIV. So oh, we are over, if doctors over rely, then that's the case. That's how we're going to end up with. And AI doesn't, doesn't have empathy, emotions. So we also need that as students because uh, AI is not gonna say, I believe in you, I trust you, you can do this, press on. But a teacher can show that empathy that you can do it, you can press on. Tema, I see you stressing that that point, the fact that you need that voice of encouragement and that empathy from your teachers and doctors or anyone around you. Yes, I f I'm supporting that because I'm, I'm actually um, somebody who relates to that. Because um, to be quite specific, for me to be that good in, in that state, it was because of a teacher, not an AI. So you see, sometimes Sometimes as um, uh, teachers, you are helping us a lot, not only small, but in, in, like in tremendous ways. So specifically, to, for me to um, actually uh, say this point, it's actually the strong point, is because um, AI, uh, AI is not, it does not care. AI doesn't know how you feel, but a teacher knows how you feel and knows the solutions on how to help you with that problem. Okay. These are the winners of that debate that the minister announced today. And as you can tell, the ladies here, Tiamo and Zandile, did a lot of research uh, in order to win that ultimate prize. But for more, right now we are going to take and listen to some of the outstanding points that were made by the minister. In the immediate term, these interventions that we are making are aimed at increasing the number of learners with higher pass rates in maths and science, and to ensure that more and more young black children, even those who reside in the most inaccessible parts of our country, are empowered with the confidence and competencies to take up careers in science. Ganzam, you have no excuse in not pursuing what you want to pursue. You know that government now, from schooling, there are no fees, there are schools which are no fee schools. You don't have to pay if you come from a poor background. Being poor must not be a curse because you are so talented in so many things. If you finish your matric or after grade nine, you can go to a Tivet college and acquire a skill. Those who go to university, 
you can go to university and government has a bursary called the National Student Financial Aid Scheme, which pays for everything that you need to be able to complete your studies. So there is absolutely no reason. Going beyond that, as the department, together with other institutions and the private sector, we offer bursaries for you to pursue science or science-related careers. So no one must have an excuse. Well, that was the minister really just giving us words of encouragement, giving the learners words of encouragement and encouraging them to pursue education and take on all the opportunities that are available for them in order to continue and further their studies all the way to university and attain degrees in the science and technology uh, area or, or field. But for now, let's listen to him as he was announcing the winners of that debate. You know, we spoke to those two learners who did both the opening and closing arguments right here today. When we launched the National Science Week at the Central University of Technology in the Free State, we, I asked a question to the learners and I said we must have a national essay competition uh, for learners to write on this topic. Science and technology are for everyone. Artificial intelligence has emerged as one of the key drivers of science and technology. Is it an advantage to society or not, the artificial intelligence? Now, we then thought perhaps let's pilot this and turn it into a debate and have a competition. So we first opened it, we only opened it for now to the students here in Tswane. But we want to make this, in future, a national competition. Now, I'm very pleased then to say that uh, the schools that participated, the runner-up, the finalists, the two finalist schools, are here today. 18 schools participated from Tswane, uh, which is why partly we are launching here. And the two finalist schools, were Pretoria Technical High, <laughs> and Nkangala Engineering School of Specialization. Now, I'm very pleased then uh, to announce the winning school. The winners is is <laughs> Enkangala Engineering School. <laughs> For Nkangala. And those are some of the winners there announced by the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Bladen Zamandi, a bit earlier on. And just before that, we were in conversation with our reporter, Mbalentle Mtetwa, who also uh, spoke to some of those learners who were part of this uh, ceremony that was taking place. I must say, Mbalentle, uh, the future of the country is in great hands, looking at some of those sharp minds that were present there this morning. Yes, indeed, certainly. The, the, the future does indeed look bright. I mean, the learners made some very pertinent points pertaining to whether AI is beneficial or whether it is not beneficial. And some of the points that they've made was that it takes away the human impact and the human touch. And Tiamo 
ex expressing the fact that she was able to go as far as winning that debate and being part of the winning team because of the words of encouragement she received from teachers and saying that if AI was to take over teaching in its entirety, this would then affect her ability to believe in herself and to be able to be a part of a, such a uh, phenomenal debating team that has gone to win this debate, uh, debating issues pertaining to science and technology as well as artificial intelligence. You also heard Zandile speaking on the fact that if doctors only relied on uh, artificial intelligence, you would find that some of them could essentially end up dispensing the wrong medication if they only just rely on that, saying that clearly there is a need for human interaction and for humans to also take part. Also raising a point about critical skills, those are really uh, pertinent skills that everyone should have and they say that if people all around rely only on artificial intelligence, that then takes away the opportunity for people to develop those skills, those critical thinking skills that are very necessary for everyday living. But the minister also just pointing out the fact that, you know, they did not have as many opportunities as the young people have and now have, obviously, because of the opportunities to go to school, uh, to, to no fee uh, paying schools and the fact that they're also have access to uh, institutions such as the National Financial Aid Scheme in order to pay for uh, university fees for those who are unable uh, to afford those fees. And these are all opportunities that young people have uh, access to. And the minister really calling on those uh, learners to take charge and uh, take up all of those opportunities. But one of the other key issues that we don't talk at length about is the issue of access to um, laboratories at schools. Many learners who come from the rural areas or no fee paying schools do not have laboratories and rely on what they see on the textbook. Let's say you're talking about or referring to a Bunsen burner. Someone has only seen a Bunsen burner on paper, but I've never really seen how it works and I have never had the opportunity to really work with a Bunsen burner. And the minister is really just speaking about an opportunity to have virtual laboratories that could potentially assist um, in that regard and bridging that gap and ensuring that those who are in far-flung areas and do not have access to laboratories and that crucial uh, skill set are able to then uh, participate in uh, that whole situation and ensure that uh, they know what a Bunsen burner is and they know what these labs look like in the event that they are involved in a place like that or in a situation where they need to be in a laboratory. Now that is comes as a welcomed um, initiative which could assist um, many and you know you could find that many teachers are encouraging learners not to take um, science as a subject or so mathematics and science all the way to matric because of the lack of access to things that are so helpful uh, to learners in order to ensure that they actually make it all the way to university and are able to become successful scientists in the future. So there are a lot of areas that still need um intervention from uh, the government and particularly from this department in partnership with the Department of Basic Education. However, the future does look bright with the right minds coming together to ensure that those who want to be in these spaces are able to take up every opportunity that is available to them. That's SABC News reporter Mbalentlem Tetwa bringing us the latest conversations as well as that report there as she brings us the launch of National Science Week out there in Pretoria. Thanks very much indeed for that.